All right, so today what I'm going to do is uh, continue with unit three uh, in case if anyone is still uh, trying to um, finish these uh, problem sets or if you're stuck, this will be a good way to try to keep, you know, um, keep up with the class. So as you can see, I have a blank um, sandbox right now. It's blank. And what they were on an unit 3.1.5 list styling um, we need to fill in this information so let's see what they want us to do I'm gonna click on exercise so I want they want us to go ahead and create this I believe so th that final outcome will be what's on the right hand side so remember how tedious it was to type out the style attribute to set the background color okay start a code the given web page shows a music festival announcement the body has a background okay your job is to we need to style it so all that information needs to be in there okay so let's start with that um, let me get this uh, set up first so I'm gonna go ahead and start typing it out and I, I cleared everything out so that you guys can get used to uh, typing everything out I don't know if it's already pre-typed um, or if they have a starter code for you but um, just to reinforce and practice so here we go uh, doc type HTML in lowercase. I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to go ahead and declare that it's an HTML uh, <coughs> page with HTML tags. Bring it down. down and uh, I'm going to put the head a tag. And let me do the body tag as well to get that out of the way. All right. And, and here we're going to set a title because. Uh, you should already get into the habit of doing that. We'll call this, I don't know if there's a, uh, but let's just call it that. Um, this style. There you go, we'll just call it like, like that. In fact, I'll just uh, put an underscore. There we go. So we have that. And inside the body, they want us to add this, all this information. So let me see, uh, the given web page has been, okay. All right. So we're not creating a CSS file, we're just adding inside of it, right? Okay, so let's do that. Let's uh, let's create this tag first. The the heading. Let's do that as a as a one. All right. If you already have this, then uh, you're good. If not, then you can just follow along. I'm not do. I'm not gonna do the whole problem set. I'll just start it off for you guys. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there because that's what they wanted. All right. All right. Next thing is. Uh, Okay, so they have another heading here. They have a subheading. You notice that two subheadings. So let's do another one. Our lineup. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that uh, title. Let's go in there. Let's do an H2. Yeah, look at that H2. So that looked like a smaller one. So H2. So now we're gonna do that. And we can we can go back and clean a lot of this up. So right now I just want to get this typed in. And what's the next one? There's another heading that I saw. So I'm gonna go back and copy that. And you can use your phone to kind of look at and then type if you're using your Chromebook or use a, if you have two screens to split your screens and kind of copy paste or just open up multiple tabs and you can go back and forth. I'm just doing it this way because it's just, you know, right now that's the way I'm doing it. Yeah, all right, what's the second one? Let's go here. Stay focused so I can get this done quickly. Okay, there you go. So now I'm going to go ahead and click save. That way I don't lose this information if, in case I lose power or anything like that run it and there you go all right let's go let's continue now they want us to create um, a list so they want uh, one unordered and then two unordered or two ordered so let's start with this one they want us to do an, uh, an unordered under lineup so and if I'm mumbling it's because I'm trying to read it to myself but you guys can follow along by reading your own uh, documentation and your own uh, instructions they're the same so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's nested, so I'm going to put it in here. Uh, you will. And, and then I think there's uh, four of those, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that. that's it so let me go back and see what they want us to add in there so that's one two three four okay so 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this information. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna just go through really quick. I prefer if you if you can just try to type all this out. I'm doing this because I'm trying to speed this up, uh, so it's not a long long recording. Okay. go so there we go so if I run it that should be right underneath that there you go and then they want us also to create another one so let's see what else um, so all I'm doing is just getting this all set up so they got one here so we got one all right UL under that so <clears throat> There was two of those. Now they want us to do uh, an ordered underneath that, so we're going to do that. Okay, so underneath the second one, uh, we're going to go here, bring it in. That's nested inside of that. It's an ordered list. Okay, and then inside of that, we're going to create another list. That's going to, I think it's three. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Copy. Okay, do that. All right, so, oh. I missed. I did something wrong. There you go. So now we have the three. That we have uh, now. The, I think we're now in the process. So there's three. Oh, they want one more. So let's go back in here. So it's gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna back this out here because it's still part. I'm gonna make that here because it's still part of this family. Okay, this is a child of this parent. Okay, so now you have this list that's gonna be part of that un unordered one, like they have it. And then they want this, and it's, if it's not making any sense, if you've been following along, it, it'll make sense. Um, I'm not going to go into detail a lot of this because we've covered this so much that I think at this point you should be able to kind of get understanding of it. So in here under the food vendors, we're going to have three more. So let's do that. Let's add another ordered, ordered list under the that. So in fact, I'm just going to copy that. I prefer you guys uh, type it out, okay? Um, that way you can you can uh, get a better handle or an idea of what, what's going on and plus repetition repetition all right so there we go um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up a little bit there you go all right so that's pretty good now let me fill these in so I'm gonna go back up to the top okay this one and now we're going to do the ones inside so let's do that again I don't know if you guys already have all this filled out and you just need that style so I may, I may be doing more work than I needed to I don't know but again this will be good practice for you to see over and over again so that's mainly reason why I do this give you guys that practice of seeing it and typing it out all right uh, one more let me see okay this one and paste and then we have another one here so let's go back to that and there it is food vendors okay and now we're gonna add the other three that's needed and that's the last one pizza pretzels and I probably could have typed all that mess out pizza pretzels and funnel cake okay I should have just And then now last, we're gonna add style. So I'll start it off and you guys finish it. So here we go. Let's run it, save it. There you go. It's starting to look like what they wanted. Now they want us to do the H to the background color. So the background, the H1 should have this uh, uh, background color, long green, the body. So let's start with the body, light blue. So the body, they want us to have a light blue color. So remember, we go inside the body tag, space, style. 
equals quotation marks and then we say uh, background color and then uh, colon and I think it was light blue and then I'm gonna go check and I think I'm done let me make sure light blue yeah and let me see if I even did it. I don't even know if I need to put that in there. I'm doing some other coding, so that's probably why. Okay, there you go. All right, so here we go. We got that done. What else do they want? They want us to have the H1 to have that color. So you already know. I'm going to do this one. You guys can do the rest, okay, because you already know what to do. You put the style inside the, the tag that you want to uh, give that style to. So I'm going to do, uh, since you already know how to do that, uh, H1, you will see the background color of Sienna. Okay. All right. So I will go ahead and do, um, I'll do this one to show you how to do that. So make the LI tag. So all the LI tags, they want them to have a, font, a specific font size. So remember, if we're going to add a specific uh, style to each, to uh, a big group like this, what we're going to do is in this in this case we're going to go back to the very top and inside the head uh, tags we're going to uh, go ahead put the cursor at the end of the title the closing title inside of that we're going to create a new tag or, uh, or type in the new tag which is style that gives us that um, property now we're going to add what what is it that they want we're going to add the element or the selector which is li right and, this is what I do. Everyone has a different way of doing this. I just go ahead and create that space just so I can read it easier. LI, and what do they want? They want a specific font size, right? Font size, colon, and I think it was 20px, and I will stop at that point because you guys should be able to do this at this point. You, get, you, you should be able to finish this up. All right, so if I run it, it that now will be applied to every single um, li that you have in here okay not though not the ol we're applying it to the li list okay so i uh, hope that helps you finish this uh problem set if you're still having problems with it just go ahead and just email me and i'll uh, i'll help you out or ask me in class all right have a good day okay bye